It has been a great weekend for Arizona State Athletics. Golf, water polo, softball, and D1 hockey all got wins. The men's basketball team got an amazing win over the University of Arizona here in Wells Fargo Arena. And the same was true for the women's team against Stanford. But the clock had to strike midnight sometime on Arizona State Athletics, and it did today in the women's game against Cal. Glass slipper left on the doorstep of Wells Fargo Arena, a devastating missed rebound in the final seconds of the game. Here are the highlights. There are many storylines to follow within this game. The is coming off a series sweep of Stanford, and Cal has won six games since the loss to ASU and Berkeley nearly a month ago. ASU's Alicia Davis and Cal's Brittany Boyd are longtime friends, and Boyd left the game after a hard collision with Katie Hempen and a possible concussion with four minutes left in the game. But the real story was the last couple minutes of the game. ASU was mounting a comeback in a similar way that they did against Stanford on Friday night. Katie Hempen hit a three in the last minute of the game to bring the Devils up by one against Cal, but Cal would get the ball back. Rebounding was the name of the game. Cal grabbed their own rebound in the very last seconds of the game, a buzzer beater layup to win the game by one point. The final score was 50 to 49 with the Cal Bears winning in Tempe. You know, I'll go back to what I, I said earlier this week, you know, there's, there's this team knows what they need to do. So when they don't do it, it's not like they don't know, you know, that we they've come a long ways and, and they are a really good team. Um, so it's just a matter of them, you know, kind of stepping up and, and doing the things that they know how to do. I mean, um, we know how to run offense, you know, we, we know how to make free throws and we know how to box out because we probably work on it as much as any team because we're so small. Now the ASU women's basketball team won't be in Wells Fargo Arena again until late February, but they're hitting the road and they're going to face one of their toughest road tests yet against both Oregon and Oregon State. For all things ASU women's basketball, you can check out CronkiteSports.com. This is it for Walter Cronkite Sports Network. I'm Elaine Wilson.